So ladies and gentlemen, we had five wonderful papers presented this evening. So it's open to questions now. So please keep your questions short. Yes. Question uh, directed to Rear Admiral uh, Jai Sekharan. Actually, this is a personal inquiry as well because this will clear a doubt uh, about this uh, cigarettes and cannabis. Basically, I have read actually similar research also done on cigarettes use also smoking. When you come to a place like Holland, this cannabis use has been legalized. And uh, I asked a few of them why it has been legalized and the answer was that they did a research in France saying that and they found out smoking is uh, smoking cigarettes is more harmful than smoking cannabis. <laughs> so what is, I mean this is not a proper authoritative source that I uh, got but I am asking you as a professional what is the status of this? What is the most more harmful uh, act? Smoking cigarettes or smoking cannabis? Yeah, the very simple answer is smoking cigarettes is much more harmful than cannabis, but also it depends on the extent of the use. Now, for example, uh, as you correctly said, uh, certain countries have decriminalized use of cannabis. That means uh, uh, people who get caught with cannabis are not taken as, it's not a criminal offence. It's a legal offence but not a criminal offence. And also certain countries, particularly in Latin America and uh, some other countries in South Africa, uh, South America, have legalised the use of cannabis. Purely on the basis that it has medicinal uh, effects. But uh, the uh, World Authority is the place called the food FDA, the Food and Drug Authority in US, they have analyzed uh, this, the 480 components of cannabis smoke and found that it is harmful to health in the long term. Therefore, it is not advisable to use cannabis. And uh, the argument brought by, you know, the, uh, especially now you get uh, Ayurveda and various uh, practitioners who use cannabis, uh, the argument is that in the process of processing the, the leaf, that the certain harmful chemicals are eliminated. So we don't know scientifically to what extent that is true. Uh, but overall, uh, the, uh, uh, I mean, the harmful effect, uh, chemicals still remain, right? So it is on ba that basis that, uh, I mean, renowned organizations like the FDA don't approve use of cannabis on a regular basis. Thank you. So don't smoke any. Any other questions? My question is also to Dr. Jayasekar. According to your study, ours is the low level. It's only 6%. What are your recommendations to bring it to a zero level? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, now, uh, if, uh, now, even now this particular study that we did, this is only one component. We studied in that particular study, uh, alcoholism, oh. smoking, cannabis use, uh, psychiatric illnesses, and so many other dimensions. Now, uh, what we see is that uh, in Sri Lanka, now for example, in the study, we found that alcohol consumption is very high. In the force, it's about 70 percent. Right? Then when it comes to smoking, it's also high, but I mean acceptable, 17 percent. So now we have to have a, uh, I mean, a program like what the Admiral said about like SOS that we were doing, a continuous awareness program, gradually. Uh, desensitizing the people to use less of these substances that are there. What we do now at the moment is uh, what is called a peer uh, system where we get a couple of peer leaders uh, involved in this particular activity. Uh, they are trained in how to uh, handle this issue and they go out into the military community and interact with the people and try to uh, pass the message. And then once in a while we get them back to the center and find out how much, how well they are progress. They are supposed to maintain diaries. So that's what we are doing. So we are yet to evaluate the impact of that. But 
currently that's what we are doing. Uh, basically, awareness. Awareness through peer groups. My question goes to Major Abekun. First of all, congratulations for doing a very scientific uh, research on job satisfaction. My question is uh, basically job satisfaction is uh, related to motivation. Did you consider any theories on motivation in your research? Yes, sir. I have used needs and motivation theories for this research. Thank you. If you have used it, it's really good. Uh, Chairman, sir, through you to the uh, speaker who made the presentation about the uh, job satisfaction again. Now, in your analysis, you have said that you have got the, how you have got the research, how you, how you have collected the data. But at the same time, don't you have in your army or in the forces, there is a system where when somebody wants to leave the army, there is a committee given, three-member committee or something given and asking, why are you leaving or something like that. Is, is, I mean, did you make any effort to get some more data collected from that area? Because there, I know for a fact that there is a committee and then because you are asked, what is the reason for you to leave? even though they are permitted to leave. So have you thought of connecting some more information and develop this research by doing that? That is readily available within your HR sections. Sir, I have considered those details also for this research. Because of this sample, we have more than 200,000 soldiers in, arm, in our army. Therefore, I have selected only little sample by considering the members. In that, when I inquire them, I found there, there is a requirement of there is a requirement of such kind of details. Any more questions? Yeah, it's about the job satisfaction. Uh, what about the organization, about the commitment, your spirit, decor, comradeship, bonding, the regimental concept alone, you know, those also will contribute towards the job satisfaction, then uh, your peers, appreciation, medals, uh, recognition. Have you considered all those aspects? I have, I have uh, taken as taken job study characteristics, organizational characteristics, and worker characteristics as my variables. Uh, in that, I used role complete, role ambiguity, skill variety, task identity, and task significance for job character characteristics. Uh, for uh, dimensions such as work group size, organizational age, work group age, leadership was used for organizational characteristics and tenure years of experience, age, gender and education and salary were used for worker characteristics. On that line, I have prepared my findings and analysis. Okay, one more question. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have come to the conclusion of our final technical session. A very interesting session, changing dynamics of military environment. We had five very thought-provoking research papers presented. The first one was the use, ease of operation and danger of single sign-on technologies presented to us by Lashini and Ishanka, and they only they not only identified a problem and they gave a solution, and I believe that it will be of immense use for future web-based applications in the militaries. And then we had another interesting question being asked by the, from the audience by Admiral Jayasekara, combat exposure and cannabis, 
are they associated and to our satisfaction 